Hello, my name is Joe Stackhouse, and <clears throat> this is my first video here at the Windows 7 Forum site. Um, I'm going to be displaying a very little known feature today that is built into Windows 7. I'm pretty sure it's built into every version from Home Edition on up. Uh, somebody correct me if, if I'm wrong. Um, but many times we find ourselves downloading an ISO image and we need to burn it. And it used to be in previous versions of Windows, you'd have to have some kind of burning tool installed. Um, often big and bulky and all you need to do is burn ISO. Now in the past I found some really nice freeware utilities that were very small lightweight to do this but it just would have been nice to have this feature within Windows itself. So I have Windows 7 Professional here. Um, I have an ISO image I downloaded. It's a Visual Studio 2010 Professional. Um, I got it from the Microsoft DreamSpark site if you guys have not heard of that before. Um, the DreamSpark site offers students tons of free software and all you need is a .edu address. It has to be one of the colleges that Microsoft recognized, which is hundreds of them, and you have to be able to verify that that address is yours. Um, once you log in, you'll have access to full-blown versions uh, with no limitations, uh, at least as far as I have seen. It's, it's the full-blown products of uh, tons of different products such as Visual Studio uh, 2010 Professional, Server 2008 R2, SQL Server, XNA Game Studio, um, Expression Studio Ultimate, Virtual PC, and like I said, there's many other titles there that you can get as well. Um, now, this is Windows 7 here, obviously, and I have an ISO image here. Um, please note this tool also supports .img files, um, although I've not tested that yet, but I'm, I've been told that, that it does support that format as well. Normally you could just double click on the file and the burning application would pop up. Uh, in my case I have 7-zip installed because I like it and it does all my unzipping and uncompressing of files. So in my case I actually have to right click and use the open with menu. Now I didn't add this to the open with menu. Windows was smart enough to see that 7-zip had taken over and went ahead and left the Windows disk image burner option there. Um, once you select this option you'll be presented with a dialog that will actually um, have you pick the drive, insert a disk, and you hit the burn button. Um, I've already done that to save some time here, um, but it does burn, it burns efficiently, uh, and you'll get this message, a disk image has been successfully burned to disk. Now if I had selected the verify disk after burning option, it takes quite, long, quite a bit longer to do the operation because it verifies each byte or each bit. Uh, after it's been burnt to make sure that the data on the disk actu actually matches what's in the ISO file. Might be a good option if you have a new burner that you're not so sure about or an old burner that you're not so sure about or you're trying new media out um, and you want to make sure that the image that you just burnt is good, especially if you're getting ready to delete it like I'm getting ready to with this Visual Studio image um, after I burn it. So. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much. Again, my name is Joe Stackhouse. Uh, I'm going to attempt to start making more videos here on the Windows 7 Forum site uh, to cover a different array of topics, and um, we'll go from there. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll try to get many more out to you.